Hi, I am Carmen Coulter. I'm from the blog Beauty and Fashion Tech. Today I have some indie um, eyeshadows to show you. These are from the Furine Company. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they're a really popular indie company. Um, they're like they're basically one of the ones I think are some of the best rated among the bloggers. Um, they kind of specialize in very glittery and very bright colors. Um, for example, I have a whole bunch I'm going to show you on in, in swatches in a minute, but just for a couple here, here is a very bright green. It's called Bitey Tyrannosaur. And here is a beautiful turquoise blue. It's um, called Hyper Cool. Um, I bought, I think, 20 samples of these. You can buy samples for just a couple bucks, and it, a sample is a good size. I mean, you'll get to several, more than several applications for your eyeshadow out of these. Um, they'll let you order up to 20 at a time, I think, and they're a couple bucks a piece, so it's a great way to try their shades, and then you can go back and buy bigger sizes of your favorites. Um, they have some other great products too. They have something called Pixie Epoxy, which is a kind of sticky eye primer type thing. I mean, it's not really a primer. It's meant to make glitter stick to your eyelids. Um, so you put a regular primer on, and then you put the Pixie Epoxy on just a little bit. It feels kind of sticky. And then you pat the eyeshadow on, and it stays on really nice. I'm actually wearing um, one shade of Furine right now and one shade of Darling Girl, which is another indie company that I'm going to be videoing, taping today too. Um, I'll have the shades for what I'm wearing up on the blog. Um, so anyways, let's go out, take a look at what the swatches look like this. I'm going to swatch up the bunch of stuff I have. I think I have like... I think I have 18 eyeshadows and two blushes, if I remember right. So I'll swatch them, I'll show them to you on the camera, um, and then we'll come back, and I will also have a blog post up on it. So let's go see the swatches. Okay, so here are the Furiday eyeshadows and two blushes. The blushes are down at the bottom there um, that I am about to swatch. Um, as you can see, they are very bright colors. Um, Kind of very glittery colors. I also appreciate that Furine packages these without sifters. Um, I think they're a lot easier to deal with without the sifter. I prefer to just kind of tap a little into the cap and, and go from there. All right, and here's just a little closer look too before I swatch them. I'll just pan over them here. Okay, so here we are out in the sunlight with the first three rows of the Firini shades. Uh, my assistants are helping out in the background there, um, patiently waiting for me. Well, we're not so patiently waiting <laughs> and guarding the fence. Um, these, uh, I applied these shades wet, um, which makes them apply to the arm a little better. Um, as you can see, they're very brilliant, bright colors. The only one I had issues with, and it's interesting, you can maybe even notice it on the video here, is the third from the right. Um, as you can see, it's kind of, you could probably see kind of a bright blue with sort of a purple over it. Um, that's what's interesting about that one. It didn't apply very well. It didn't apply well wet. Um, then I tried to dab some on top of it, and that just kind of made it glop up. So that's the Misfisto shade, and it just didn't just didn't apply very well. Um, all the rest are great. Um, if you look at the fourth from the right, you can see that it's kind of, I think that's probably a duochrome shade. We'll have to actually look for sure later, but um, sometimes when you move these things, you know, they'll show in the light. They'll kind of shape, shift in their shades. Um, anyways, they're all gorgeous shades. The only one, like I said, that I had a problem with was the Misfisto shade. Um, so now I'm going to go in and do the last three rows and bring those out for you to see. Okay, so here I am outside with the um, last three rows of the Furine shades. Um, the two blushes are on the far right. Um, what you see with the blushes here, I applied foiled wet. Um, you could wear them as eyeshadows that way. Um, again, really nice shades here. Um, here, real quick, what the blushes looked like more blended. And then I gave Miss Fisto another try. Here it is. It worked out better this time. It definitely dries to a to a like a bright blue with a, just kind of purple flecks in it. It's really interesting because it looks like a deep purple in the pot. Um, but it did apply better here. I'm still not sure I'm that much of a fan of it. It, it just I don't know. This doesn't quite go as well as the other ones, I guess. Um, interesting effect though. I mean, it is very brilliant. Hi again. All right, we were back after seeing the swatches. Um, as you can see from them, I mean, everything is very well pigmented. Um, you know, these are not like your everyday uh, makeup counter eyeshadows. You know, these are made with 
nice quality ingredients that aren't cut with a lot of stuff. I mean, to the extent they have base to them, it's something to make them adhere better and things like that, but not a lot of filler. I mean, a lot of companies put in stuff just to sort of save money half the time, I think. <laughs> um, they look great. I mean, they're really good shadows. They're very affordable. Um, the downside, of course, is when you buy the indie mineral makeup type shadows is, you know, they usually come in loose powder form. Those are a little harder to apply. Um, with these, like I mentioned before, it's really important that you pat them on. Um, what I like to do because you get fallout when you apply these things is one of two things. One is you can apply them wet. It's called foiling. Um, that really helps uh, cut against the fallout and it makes the, um, the color look more intense. Um, something else you can do is um, just wait and you know, apply whatever you want of your makeup, but leave your eye out, eye shirt area free. Go ahead and clean up around it where the fallout is and then apply your uh, concealer or foundation in that area. I tend to do that. Sometimes I go ahead and do my whole foundation. Go ahead and just use makeup remover to remove any fallout and then touch up there. Um, one other trick is to take loose powder, just translucent powder, put it all under your eye. When you get the fallout on top of it, you can wipe it away. I find that doesn't always work as well with things that are as well pigmented as this because they still just mix through that translucent lucent powder. Um, but regardless, I mean, it takes a little more work to apply these, but you, I think, end up with a much better look, you know, more brilliant colors. If you like bright colored shadows, these types of shadows are the way to go. So, um, again, this was Furine. Um, I will have a blog post up with pictures and names of all the shades on Beauty and Fashion Tech, and I'll have the link down below the video here. So that is it for today, and keep an eye out because I'm also going to be reviewing another um, indie company very soon called Darling Girl, and I think I'm going to order from some more indie companies. I'm finding that I'm really enjoying trying their makeup. So that is it. Thanks for watching. Bye.